What's up, tubers? Teal here, Simplistic Fishing, back at you tonight with more leg breakdowns. Tonight, we're actually going back down to Lake Houston. Our last video on Lake Houston, we covered the east side and a little bit of the west side of Lake Houston. Now we're going to finish off the rest of Lake Houston from that, uh, from that bridge, basically all the way south down to the dam. So let's see what we can uncover tonight. Hopefully, I got some good stuff for you. Let's go. So here we are on Lake Houston. If you missed the first breakdown, I'll put a link up at the top to uh, to give you guys the uh, the link to that one for Google Earth. And then of course, we're going to come back here on the next video. And we're going to talk about offshore hotspots. But here we are on Lake Houston. Let me just show you really quick how I break these things down. If you're the, coming for the first time to my channel and checking out one of my lake breakdowns, I break it down on Google Earth by just pretty much however I see the lake, you know, however it breaks down. So on this one, we have offshore hotspots, which we're going to talk about, like I said, in some uh, some videos coming up. We've also got different channels that are out there. Now this lake didn't fluctuate as much, um, so I couldn't mark the channels as well as some of them that I can when the lake gets really drawn down. But we did were able to find a couple different channels that we were able to mark. So you can see that with those green marks, and we'll go over that during the breakdown as well. We've also got laydowns, so lots of different laydowns on this lake. Let me zoom out a little bit. You can see. There are quite a few different areas where I had some pretty good laydowns. You've also got different kinds of cover, so debris, stick ups, things that just looked odd to me, you know, that I think you should go check, you know, stuff like that. We also have ramps. So if you haven't watched any of my videos before, I'm all about the ramp pattern, not the major public ramps, but the uh, the private ramps and things like that. Those, those can be really, really good places to fish. So I always like to mark all of those. And then rock, of course, living here in Texas, we don't have a lot of rock, at least in my area, we don't have a lot of rock. So anytime we can find rock in these muddy bottom lakes, that's usually going to put you in a higher percentage area. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this over to the left. And then what I did was I drew my timeline back to 2013. So if you're trying to kind of see what I'm seeing, I've got it drawn back to, to February of 2013. We stopped at this bridge last time on this farm to market road, this McKay bridge. So that's where we're going to start today. So let's start right out here in the middle. And here again, we have these stick ups. Now, if you missed the last video, these stick ups go away. So if I go to 2014, you can see they're pretty much gone. 2015, you can't see them anymore. But my experience has been that when these, will, I think they're willow bushes, when they start to grow up like that, even though the water, uh, they grow up like that because the water was really low. <clears throat> but even though when the water comes back up and floods, those little stick ups stay in the water. And those have been a tremendous pattern for me uh, here in Texas. Just go around those and flip those with jigs and creature baits and stuff like that. So I've marked the stick ups there. We've also got some more over here, not stick ups. We've got a little stump out here, an isolated stump. You got a, a little isolated lay down over here as well. Some more laydowns just along the, the shoreline. You can see they're isolated, which is nice. You know, sometimes you'll get in the big piles of them. And yeah, there's probably going to be fish in the big piles of them. But these isolated ones seem to collect more fish. So, you'll, you know, instead of catching one off of them, you might catch three or four off each one of the laydowns, you know, if you're having a good day. So let's keep moving on down. Got a lot of seawalls on this, this lake. And uh, if you missed the first video, I think I talked about it, but that can be a good effective pattern too, especially when it comes time to spawn. They'll, they'll get right up against those seawalls <clears throat> and they can be very, very productive. So don't be scared to get up behind those docks and fish the seawalls, especially the seawalls that you can find that have rock on the, uh, you know, on our side, on the lake side. So you got a little ramp here as well, getting down past those power poles. We got more rocks over in here. And I like this area. This sets up pretty nice. There's not a lot of this on that lake, but it looks like possibly like an old ramp, maybe. I'm not sure if that's an old ramp or not. I couldn't tell, so I didn't mark it as a ramp, but lots of rock in this area. See all this rock here? Got rock all along there. So that would be a really good spot to go look at. You got the, you know, this outside is main lake. So you got main lake, they can get to deep water really quick. And then they've got some rock to go up there and mess around on. You've also got some debris. Right out here on the outside of this rock looks like some laydowns and stuff like that. You've got uh, a ramp here as well. That's the Walden boat ramp. I'm not sure what that means, but let me zoom back and show you guys where I am. I'm just south of the bridge now. As I got down in here, I didn't see too much in here. There's this little creek thing that comes through here, but I almost wonder if it's just you know if it's just flood stuff for the uh, for the neighborhood. So it didn't really look like a good fishing spot, but I, I could be wrong. Didn't really look like you can even get back there anyway. It's not very easily. 
Um, but let's keep going down. We have the uh, the seawall that was here. Now this part is really interesting. And if you bought a card from me on Lake Houston and you're wondering what in the world is he drawing all over this map with these tracks, this again goes back to what we were just talking about with the stick ups. So if you zoom in here, you'll see that I've outlined the stick ups. And for me, the best place to fish on these stick ups is the outside line, right? So I would I would take this track and I would line my boat up on that track and I would flip down the edge of all of this stuff and make sure that I was staying on the outer edge of it. Of course, you know, here I'm going to go back inside. I'm just going to basically follow that track. Now, I can't guarantee that those stick ups are still there. My guess is that they should be. Um, of course, that was nine years ago when they were there. So it's possible maybe they've washed away now. Um, but odds are they're probably there. So you definitely want to go check that out. And if they are, that could be a really good pattern. If you want to kind of limit, you know, the area you want to flip around here, because that is a big area, you know, start up here on the point. That's obviously going to be your, your better spots. Start right you now, try this point here and try around this point here. Maybe start on the three little points. I guess there's four. Start on those four little points first and then, you know, then just kind of narrow it down from there. But that can be a really, really good pattern. Um, so definitely go check that out. We've also got some more stick ups up in here. We've got some lay downs over here, a couple different lay downs. And this is interesting. It's like a little little creek or something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's got a nice little ditch that comes right through here. And so if I was fishing in here, I would definitely put a lot of attention in this middle area right in here. If I could get in here uh, when the water was up, but I would definitely concentrate a lot. Just if I drew a big circle here, just around this whole entry area, it's got a nice little pinch point right there. All right, so moving in here, we've got some more debris that's down there. I'm not sure what that was. It was a stump or what it was, but it was something different. And you can see this is going to be pretty shallow. Look how long these docks are. They have huge walkways. We've got some more stick-ups in here as well. And then right here, this is a little ditch that runs through here. So that little track that you see is actually the creek channel. So again, if, I, if I'm fishing these stick-ups, a um, couple different areas I'm going to pay attention to. Obviously, the outside edge. But this one, if you notice, it doesn't make as good of an edge like the other one did. It's all jagged and crooked. So that one might be a little bit harder. But I would for sure swing around here and fish this bend, this creek channel bend. Fish all around it. Fish around the stick up. See if you got a little drop in there. Those are good areas to uh, usually to be able to locate some fish. Obviously, they got to be up shallow when you're doing it. But uh, I definitely could see that being a good spot. You've also got some additional laydowns in there, too. If I draw this back to a different year, that's going to look a lot different. So I'll take you up here and show you what it looks like when the water's up. So totally, completely different when the water's up. You would have no idea those stick-ups were there. You had no idea there was a creek channel bend right there either. Um, so definitely go check that out. So we're going to keep moving down. Let's see what else we can find. we got some more stick-ups. Again, we got lots of laydowns back here. Now, I don't know if this would be productive or not. Obviously, this is super, super shallow. But you've got all these different laydowns that are here. So I marked the laydowns for you. But I got to be honest, going back to the stick up thing, I've had a lot more, you know, a lot bigger fish catching when I'm a little bit deeper fishing these stick ups than I would going way, way up shallow unless it's, you know, spawning time. So if it's me, I'm probably going to ignore the laydowns and I'm going to pay a lot more attention to these stick ups that are just a little bit further out. Now, again, no guarantee those are still there, but they should be. So definitely go check it out. And if you see them, Stay on that line, stay on that outside line and flip those bushes. And that should be a productive pattern for you. We're going to keep moving down. We've got a little ditch that comes through here. A little bit of rock in here, but it's so stinking shallow. You can see how shallow it is. I don't know if that's going to be productive or not. You do have some rock here, though, and that's off of a little point. So I could see that one being a little better spot. More laydowns, just kind of scattered. you got some there, a few here few here and you got this isolated tree if that's like a little cypress tree or something definitely fish around those especially that one being isolated so i'm going to pull back real quick before i go any further just kind of show you where i am so we've worked our way quite a ways down from the dam we're now all the way down here let's see if we can get a point of reference here this children's lighthouse of houston is basically we're right across this, right across from that just east of that so let's keep moving down we talked about the rock there those couple lay downs there's that tree we just talked about you got more laydowns kind of scattered throughout this, but some of them don't even look like they're touching the water. So I try to just hit the ones that looked like they may be good to fish. 
And then right here, there's a lay down here. You can't see it right now because the, the year is different. I'll have to change the year for you to see these lay downs now. But there's a lay down right here. And what I like about it is you've got this little creek that comes through here. And it spins right here and almost makes like a little channel right there. And that is definitely a good spot to go look at. I'm going to mark it for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. Right there would be a really good spot to go check out. I could see them collecting there uh, for sure. You know, just a just a real good area to locate some bait fish. And obviously, if you can find the bait fish, you're going to find the bass. Now, coming down here, there's a lot of different laydowns. You don't see them as much on this image. You can start to see them here a little bit. But you'll see them better on a different image. And I don't want to make you guys sick. So if I don't find it in like two or three, I'm just going to bail out. But you got to just trust me that those laydowns are out there. So you've got multiple laydowns out there. Also, as you move down here, you've got a couple more right in here. You've got... Uh, like it looks like an old road right here. So if I zoom in here, this looks like it's either an old road, an old ramp. Maybe it's an old railroad track. I don't have any idea what it is, but definitely go fish it. It makes a really good point there. And you never know that might extend all the way out here. And there's something out there. I didn't even notice that. I don't know what that is. That's just waves or that's like rock or something. Not sure, but follow that roadbed out and see if it comes all the way out here. And then when you're doing it, check out and see what the heck that thing is. All right, moving on down, we got some debris back here behind this dock. Some more laydowns just kind of scattered throughout. Again, this is really, really shallow stuff when you get up here by these docks. You got some debris here, and I love this, this little group of trees right here. That last one we saw was just one individual tree, but this is like a, a group of hopefully cypress trees. It kind of looks like them from the top. But if it is, spend some time here. Spend some time working the roots of those cypress trees. Um, those can be really, really, really productive areas, especially when there's not very many of them. You, know, you don't have a whole forest of them right here. You just have one little clump of them. And so that makes that a very, very high percentage area. Moving down here, you've got some debris. You've got some more rock that's back behind here. Some additional debris here. I couldn't tell what it was. It almost looks like where they had the old seawall, but then it busted or maybe they didn't have it ready or something. I'm not sure, but you, it did leave some debris in the water there. So check that out. You got some laydowns going on off that point, and then you've got some rock off of this point as well that comes right out through that little ditch that they've created for the neighborhood there. So this area in here, again, because you've got that output, that flow, especially if it's been raining, go in here and just check it out. They may relate to this area. They got a little current here. If they can find something to hide behind and attack stuff as the current brings it by, they're gonna set up on that stuff. So just try to pay attention to your surroundings. See what you can find here. This little rock pile right here might be a really good place for them to set up at to ambush bait fish. All right, so moving through here, we've got laydowns. Again, some more stumps. This was interesting because there wasn't a lot of that. You know, there's a lot of laydowns. But if you look here, these are just little random stumps. So if they're not too shallow, you could probably go fish those. You got more laydowns going down this bank line, quite a few of them. There's even a new one there. So you have to move up the date for you to see that one. And then moving down through here, you've actually got some rocks. So if you look really closely, it appears that there is some rock right along the edge of this shoreline, right where I put rock there. It looks like there's a little bit here and a little bit there. So this could have potential. Again, it's pretty shallow stuff. You've got a ramp here. You've got another lay down out here. You've got a huge ramp over here. And then you got some rock that's back in here. But again, this is really extremely, extremely, extremely shallow. All right, then moving back through here, we've got another ramp that looks like one of the main boat ramps. And we have made it all the way down to the dam, which means we have completed Lake Houston from the Google Earth side. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. This looks like a really interesting lake. If I ever got a chance to go that far south uh, with, uh, with Steve, my boat, I would definitely uh, take a look at this lake. It looks interesting. Looks like the water clarity. Um, you know, I didn't talk about it on this video, but the water clarity changes a lot in this lake. You know, it looks like it can go from pretty clean to pretty brown, pretty fast. Um, so just be aware of that if you're going out to fish, if you had a lot of heavy rains in the last couple weeks or last week, uh, just be aware that you're probably going to an area where you're gonna be fishing some muddy water. So either you wanna go fish it, which muddy water doesn't scare me, I'm used to it. Um, or maybe you wanna go try to find a different lake that maybe is not so uh, 
so fluctuant on the uh, the clarity and everything. But anyways, looks like a great lake. Hope you guys are enjoying it. And I will come back next time. And we are going to talk about the offshore hotspots that I found on this lake based on the Navionics mobile app that I use. I'll just go out. We'll look at the contour lines on this lake and we'll see what we can find. So until next time, guys, I hope you catch your PB. Please don't forget, check out my website, simplisticfishing.com. You can order all these waypoints plus the offshore ones. I'll put them all together and put them on a card for you. And then you basically just stick it in your graph, do the import, and you're good to go. It will change the way you fish. So go check it out, simplisticfishing.com. Again, until next time, hope you catch your PB. Take it easy, guys.